Hi, this is David with Organic Themes, and I'm going to show you how to set up the natural theme on WordPress.com. So as you can see here, we have our demo for the natural theme. It's displaying our logo, our site navigation, a featured slideshow, some featured pages, and some blog posts down here. I'm going to show you how to set up your site similarly. So we're going to go into this freshly created site that I've just made. So if you just signed up for WordPress.com or you just started a new website with WordPress and you activated the natural theme, your site might look something like this. It might just have the default content displayed. But we want it to look like the home page. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and start creating some content for our site. We'll start by creating some pages. So in your WordPress admin, go to Pages, Add New, and we're going to begin creating some pages. So we'll start with the home page. The home page is unique. We don't need any content added to the home page. We're just going to go ahead and publish this and leave it as it is. Let's add a new page. Let's add an about page. I'm going to add some sample content to this page. Then within the page settings, go over here to featured images. I'm going to go to my media library. I've already uploaded some images to my media library. You'll have to choose some from, from your computer or a service like Unsplash to find the images you need. Or maybe just take the photos yourself. In this case, I'm going to choose what I've already selected from Unsplash. So I'm going to choose these coffee beans and we'll publish this page. I'm going to repeat this process for a few more pages. A services page, set a featured image, publish, and let's add a contact page. Again, a featured image. published. And for our final page, we're going to add a blog page. Similar to the home page, we don't need any content on this page. So we're just going to go ahead and publish this page as is. Now we'll go to all pages and we'll see our new pages that we just created here. So about, blog, contact, home, and services. These other two pages were just created by WordPress. We can, uh, we can actually trash those if you wanted to. Now if we refresh our page over here, we'll see that the pages have been added to the navigation menu, but our site still looks pretty bare. It doesn't look anything like the demo we have over here yet. So we need to add some posts to this as well. We're going to go to our WordPress admin again, and we're going to start adding some posts. Similar to a page, we're going to add a featured image. I'm going to choose these coffee beans. But different from a page, we're going to add a category. In this case, I'm going to call the category blog. So we'll come back to this later, but this is how we're going to differentiate where the posts are displayed in the theme. So by applying this blog category, I'm going to want these posts in particular to display within our blog. And we're going to do the same for the slideshow, but the slideshow uses tags. So down here in your tags field, I'm going to, you can add whatever tag name you want, but for these purposes, I'm just going to call it slider. It's easy to remember. So we have a slider tag added, blog category added, featured image applied, and some basic content. So there's our first post. I'm going to go ahead and publish that. We're going to repeat this process a few more times too. Sample content, featured image. Now this one I want to display in our blog, but I don't want it to display in our featured slideshow. So I'm not going to add that slider tag. I'm just going to go ahead and publish this post. Next one. Content. 
content. I'm going to have this one display in the blog and the slider. So, blog category selected, slider tag added, featured image. We're going to go with this one. Another post. This one I want just displayed in the slider. So I'm just going to add the slider tag and leave these categories empty. Publish. And one more. Uh, this one I'll do both blog and slideshow. We'll publish this. Okay, now if I were to refresh the page here, we're still not going to see much. We're going to see maybe some blog posts added here. But we want more than that. We want the home page set up. So in order to do that, we have to go into our theme options, which are located within the WordPress customizer. So within the WordPress admin, we go to Appearance, Customize. Now, first thing we need to do is set up the home page within these home page settings. So home page settings. We want our home page not to display our latest posts, but to display a static page instead. So when we click this static page option, these two options are revealed. So for the home page, we're going to select our previously created home page. The options aren't saved yet, so we'll just see this over here in the customizer. And for the post page, which is our blog, we're going to choose the blog page. Now that adds all of our blog posts over here to the blog. We'll go back to the home page in the customizer. So in order to save these options, we need to stay here in the customizer, go back here to the theme options, home page, and let's choose some featured pages. So I'm going to choose the pages I created earlier, about, services, and contact. And you can see they're now displayed here in the customizer. And we're going to choose a category that we created for a post earlier, which will display our blog post down here at the bottom. But our slideshow isn't displaying yet. I mean, this looks good. You might want to just stick with this if you don't want a, a slideshow on your, on your website. All right, so if we want the slideshow to show up, we have to go back here to our customizer options, and we're going to go to Featured Content, and we're going to add that tag that we had applied to the posts earlier. If you remember, it's Slider. So as soon as we choose the slider tag, we can see the posts that we created for our slideshow are now showing up. Okay, you can see here that it's mostly set up, but there's, there's a few other things we might want to do. We might want to add a logo and maybe a header image. So let's go ahead and do that in the customizer as well. So in order to add a logo, we'll go to the site identity options, click select logo, I've already uploaded one here. I'm going to skip the cropping. Yeah, we can see the logo is displayed, but we have our site title and tagline here. Maybe we don't want that, so I'm just going to hide that. Now I have just the logo. I'm going to change the header image. Skip the cropping as well. Now we have the header image displayed. It's pretty close to our demo now, but you see in our demo we have this, this text on top of these slides. If you wanted to do this, you'll have to use what's called a post excerpt. So let's go ahead and publish these changes. We'll refresh our site over here. You can see it displays as it displayed in the customizer. And now we're going to exit out of the customizer and we're going to go back to our post that we have created. So this one has the slider tag applied, getting the mix right. And let's just add that same content to the excerpt here. 
update it. Now if we were to refresh our site over here, the text is now displayed on top. So you can repeat this similar excerpt process for the content that displays for the pages here. So if you want to customize that content, go to all pages, about, and let's add our custom excerpt content here. Yay! Update. Now this content here will, will be replaced with the excerpt. There you go. And you can do that across the board for any page and for your slideshow posts. So that covers the basics of setting up the natural theme. Um, I hope this all made sense to you and I hope you enjoy using the natural theme.